Hello everyone. This is a D-Pharmacy Pharmaceutics 1 class subject code 1.1 T unit 5. In this class, we are going to discuss some other methods of sterilization by using moist heat technique. Generally, apart from autoclaving, there are three major moist heat techniques are used. These are kindleization, pasteurization and sterilization of vaccines. First, we will discuss regarding tindalization method. This is a method which was mentioned in the British Pharmacopoeia 1932. This method was used for sterilization of medicaments which are unstable at 115 degrees centigrade but can withstand lower temperature heating. This method was used for sterilizing culture media. In this method, the solution needed to be sterilized is packed and sealed in its final packaging system and are heated at 80 degrees centigrade for one hour. These are heated on three heated for three successive days. The first heating destroys the vegetative cells but not the bacterial spores. The bacterial spores germinate into the vegetative forms in the interval between the first and the second heating and which are killed during the second heating process. The third heating provides a safeguard against any spores which may not germinate until the second interval. This method nowadays is not in practice and it was deleted by the fourth addendum which was published in 1941 from the British Pharmacopoeia. This method was replaced by heating with a bactericide. The next method is pasteurization. This is a partial sterilization method in which it can kill around 97 to 99% of microorganism. But this method is unable to kill the bacterial spores. The pasteurization of milk is one of the common process that we see in our daily life. Pasteurization of milk can be done in two different techniques. One is holder method, the other one is flash method. In holder method, the milk is heated around 62.8 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes in a steam jacketed stainless steel container having agitators. This provides an exact exposure throughout the milk and it also prevents the skin formation. A clean and dry steam is blown to the space above the liquid for preventing the formation of skin as well as foam. The method kills all the types of bacteria, including mycobacterium tuberculosis. The second method for pasteurization is flash method. In this process, the milk is heated at 71.60 degree centigrade for around 15 seconds and are quickly cooled. 
the milk is heated by passing through narrow horizontal pipes inside the large ones through which water passes in the opposite direction this method is commonly used because it is less time consuming process and also needs less floor space and this is a continuous process the third process is sterilization of vaccines now we know that vaccines are a suspension of dead bacteria where the organisms are killed in such a manner that its antigenic power is preserved the suspension of microorganism is prepared in normal saline solution and transferred into a sealed container sterilization is carried out by immersing the container in a thermostatically controlled water bath at a temperature between 55 degree to 60 degree centigrade for around 1 hour very strict aseptic precautions are to be taken to exclude any possibility of contamination the vaccine is tested for sterility to confirm the proper sterilization of vaccine so that's all for this class in my next class i will discuss regarding radiation sterilization thank you